Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video I will tell you how we can control the level of creatinine in a patient of kidney failure. When the kidney starts failing, the lab waste material like creatinine and urea start increasing in our blood, which is a matter of great concern to all kidney failure patients. Before moving to how we can control the level of these waste material, it's very important for all kidney failure patients to understand where and how these waste materials are produced in the body. Let's start with creatinine. Creatinine is a type of protein. It's a type of waste material produced by muscles during muscle metabolism. So if a kidney failure patient take large amount of protein, what will happen? This large amount of protein will convert it into creatinine during muscle metabolism. Number one thing. If the patient suffer from fever, what will happen? Because of fever, the muscle metabolism increases and the level of creatinine also jumps. Number two thing, if the patient do lots of heavy exercise, excessive exercise like running, jogging, swimming, what will happen? Because of increased muscle metabolism, the production of the kidney again increases. If the patient lives in a very cold climate and because of shivering, what will happen? The level of creatinine again increases. So in a patient of kidney failure, we have to avoid all these things to cut down the production of creatinine. One number one thing is intake of protein, large amount of protein, exercises, fever and cold climate. With this we can control the production of the kidney in the body. Now this is the one thing which can be done in a kidney failure patient but this is not the right way. We can increase the kidney output, kidney output from the kidney by following these methods, we can cut down the production of the creatinine in the body. But now there is one more method that can help the patient to control the level of creatinine and that is excretion of creatinine through urine. For that purpose, we have to increase the kidney's function because function of the kidney can be increased and the function of the kidneys are to filter out all the waste material from the body. And as the function of the kidney increases, the level of creatinine and urea decreases. Now the question arises, can we increase the kidney's function? The answer is yes, we can increase the kidney's function. Now let me give you an example. Suppose one person has donated one kidney to another person. Now who has donated the kidney has only one kidney. So the functioning of the kidney has been cut down by 50%. But the level of kidney and urea doesn't increase in that person who has donated one kidney to another. Now the question is why? Because kidney has ability to increase in functions as a person has donated one kidney to another. The single kidney has increased its function and performed the function of two. That's why the level of kidney and urea doesn't increase who has donated one kidney to another patient. That means kidneys has ability, kidneys has superpowers that can work in each and every patient of kidney failure. For that purpose, we have to go down deeper in the kidney failure and we have to understand why the kidney are failing because once the kidney are failing we have to work on that cause first suppose your kidney is failing because of high blood pressure and we don't work on your high blood pressure and your blood pressure remains high what will happen because of this high blood pressure it will cause further damage to the kidney and level of the kidney and urea will kept increasing so first step in each and every kidney failure patient should be removal of the cause whatever the cause of kidney failure in your case we have to rule it out we have to take it out so that the further damage to the kidney can be stopped. Now on the second step, we can work on the kidney's function. To increase the kidney function, I advise all patients to go for kidney function restoration treatment. It's based on herbs. It's based on a natural method that will help the kidney to restore its functions. And the function of the kidney has to filter out the waste material like extra amount of fluid, ketonin, urea, sodium, potassium from the blood. For that, we have to provide a suitable atmosphere to the kidney in which kidney can restore its function. So we have removed the cause that was damaging the kidney. Now with the help of kidney function restoration treatment, we have given that particular stimulus to the kidney that will help the nephrons to work better than before. And as the nephrons, which are the functional unit of the kidney, works better, the creatinine clearance increases, the urea clearance increases and the level of creatinine and urea drops in the blood. Now let's move to the urea. Urea is a type of nitrogenous phase produced by liver during food metabolism. So when we eat something and when it goes to the liver for digestion, liver breaks down that particular food material and produces urea during that process. So we can't control the amount of urea in the body with diet. Because we have to eat something and whatever we eat, it will convert it into the urea. So we don't try to control the urea in the body of a kidney failure patient with the help of diet. 
but when a patient of kidney failure take large amount of oily fried food or heavy protein like uh, fish chicken mutton what will happen liver has to work more to break down that particular food material heavy food product like fats and protein and that causes extra production of the urea in the body so we can cut down the extra production of urea in the body if we don't take all these kind of heavy food items like fats and protein but even if we cut down all these kind of food material from the diet the level of urea will kept increasing because there is something which is failing the kidney which is affecting the functioning of the kidney we have to work on that and when we work on kidney with the help of kidney function resuscitation treatment and as the function of the kidney increases the clearance of kidney and urea increases simultaneously that's why the level of kidney and urea will drop in your blood with the help of kidney function resuscitation treatment now i hope you understand how we can control the level of kidney and urea in our blood there is two way either we have to cut down the extra production of kidney and urea in the blood and the best way to control the level of kidney and urea is to increase the kidney's function increase the power of kidney to excrete all these kind of waste material from the body and for that purpose kfrt is the best treatment so if you are suffering from any kind of kidney failure simply whatsapp your reports on the number given below once the doctor examine that report they will advise the kidney function resuscitation treatment accordingly and once you start your kidney function resuscitation treatment you have to perform two tests one the day that you started the kidney function resuscitation treatment and after the one month of that treatment and you can see the changes in your reports with a time span of one month only now this allow me say goodbye see you in the next video till then bye bye namaskar